Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll be exploring in W, which is a powerful website builder that allows you to create dynamic and interactive web application without coding. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced developer, W is a fantastic tool for building custom websites. In this tutorial, we'll guide you through the process of creating a simple website using W in 2023. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial step suite. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use Brave Browser, but of course in your case, you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you. Once you open whatever preferred browser you have, simply go to this URL section, simply type bubble.io and hit the enter button. Of course, that will take you directly to the home screen or main screen of Bubble.io. And of course, if you have an account, make sure to go and log in into your account. And if you don't have an account, make sure to just go and create your account. Of course, you can even do both with your Google account if you didn't want to get through the boring steps of creating or even logging in into your account. Once you created your account, you will you will be asked some simple questions of creating your, your uh, app or something like that. So they can help you build in your website or your app. Of course, once you sign up or you just created your account, you'll have to familiarize yourself with a W interface. So take some time to become familiar with the W interface and explore where you can find the functionality and behavior of your website. Get acquainted with the various elements and options available in the interface. As an example, if we click here on create app, we'll have to name it. As an example, let's name it hello. Why not? Because we are just showing you as an example and click on get started. Of course, after naming your app, you will have to put some designs into your thing. So let's just wait until the page loads. It should not take a lot of time, maybe 10 seconds into 220 seconds. So it should not take some time. Let's just wait for it. And as you can see here, we will have to go and give it a logo as an example. So let's just give give it this logo as an example. As you can see, the logo or the web logo is actually a uh, uploading here as you can see as this logo here that will be what will be shown here of course the name of of it as you can see a bubble EO editor or hello and people for people that join in your website they will see here hello or test or whatever you type so make sure to type whatever you want so simply then click on accept here we'll be able to choose the fonts that you want as an example here i'm just going to choose uh, this font so for you, you can choose other fonts so test them all out until you find what's better for you or whatever suits you then click on next steps here you'll be able to customize the colors so customize whatever color you want the primary the primary contact contrast uh, the text surface background destructive success alerts customize whatever you want for me i'm just going to click on next step because look everything looks good here of course here you'll be able to add any plugin into your web or app whatever you want of course if you didn't find the plugin that you want here you can blow browse all the plugins here and you'll be able to search for whatever plugin you want as an example instagram let's just say and as you can see you'll find everything you want right here so make sure to go and check what's for whatever you want then install as an example let me just install the facebook plugin here of course you'll be able to install if you don't want this anymore and once you're done simply click on get started and as i said from here you'll have to get familiarized with the design option with the workflow so test various and a lot of elements from here until you get used to that then you'll have to design and lay out your website of course now it's time to design and lay out your website so simply use the drag and drop interface to add elements like header images text buttons and more to uh, to your pages for example you can customize the appearance of these elements by adjusting their properties such as color size and fonts and utilize the responsive design or features to ensure your website looks great on different devices as an example let's just add here the the header and as we said we will be able to uh, change the appearance the layout the condition so change whatever you want as an example here we didn't like this bubble we can change the place of it we can do whatever we want of course there's even a lot of headers there's not just this one of course if you don't want to you can simply hit the delete key in your keyboard so let's, as an example i like this header instead so simply put it here and as you can see we can go to appearance and we can add some workflows as an example if someone do so because 
here we'll be able to edit whatever we want because that's where the fun starts now we will be able to add the hero or the body and the value probes as you can see they help you with a lot of options here on the right so make sure to choose from it if you want there's even this drop menu here on this left panel you'll be able to add a lot of that as example video or a link or image and here as an example we can choose the video source maybe youtube or whatever it is then simply the video id and you can add a lot of other stuff as in, other than video so let's say for example text here let's just add hello and hello and welcome here as an example then simply as you can see you'll find this here you'll be able to edit the fonts the color or and other things if you want to of course you can even change the place you can even uh, put it with the header if you want or we can put it wherever you want as an example I just add an image as an example upload the image from my pc and then just add this image here as you can see you are uploading your image and of course you will be able to add or change different things if you want to so as an example, I just put this image here with the text. And of course, you can create pages and navigation also. So once you design the visual elements, it's essential to create pages and set up navigation on your website. As an example, we can put another pages for the sign in and login. As an example, we can add it on a new uh, pages. And as you can see, we can edit whatever we want on it. So simply, uh, you will be good to do. Of course, you'll be able to add new pages and to represent different sections of your uh, site, such as home, about, services, and contacts. Set up navigation menus or buttons to link these pages together and allowing users to navigate through your uh, site seamlessly. And of course, you can even add functionality and even interactivity. So of course, to enhance your website, you can add functionality and interactivity using W powerful feature for example, you can create a contact form where you can, where users can, of course, send inquiries, set up a blog section as an example to publish articles or integrate your social media sharing buttons, explore the available option to add the desired functionality to make your website more engaging. So as an example, we can simply go even to this workflow option and you will be able to add as an example menu when click on something, you can do something and a lot of other stuff. Of course, you can do whatever you want here. Once you finish with everything here, once you finish, let's just close this. Once you finish with everything here, you can simply or finally preview your site. Your simple site, click on preview and you will be able to preview anything you did here. As you can see, if we go here, that's going to be normally our site now because that's what's in here. We'll be able to preview it. We will be able to write something, click on it and make sure to try everything out once you preview it. So preview it and check if everything is working correctly. As an example, if you haven't, and this option of how to create your account so simply create your account and check if everything is working if everything is working that means your site is good to go you can publish it you can even upgrade your plan if you want to get a custom domain or you can complete continue with the free one as me to get just the w domains and of course if you reach this point congratulations you've successfully created the simple website using w in 2023 We've discovered, of course, the basic of signing in, uh, creating a project, designing a layout, creating pages, navigations, and adding functionality to your website. Of course, W empowers you to build a custom website without coding, opening endless possibilities for you. So if you found this tutorial helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and a subscribe to our channel for more website development content. Thanks for watching and happy website building with W, and I will see you in the next one.